Hi there, and welcome to Flow Launch Plugin by FlowThings. We're really excited you get to use this plugin to update your site and launch a new one safely with FlowThings. In this video, I will go over a general overview of the plugin and what it does uh, whenever you use it. But we're also going to go over each step of the way so you can see how each step behaves and what you need to do for each one of them. You can also read in the process tab what each step is about and what it will do when the plugin is running it. We also have a features and details tab and here you can read a bit more about the plugin in detail. Overall, you can always come back to this overview video if you have any questions or you want to just rewatch to make sure that you're following the process correctly. So first things first, what you need to know is that Flow Launch plugin works for all WordPress sites. So whether you're already on Flow Theme and you're just updating to a new one, or you just want to make updates in your current Flow Theme, or you use just a novel WordPress theme, um, not from Flow Themes, and you want to update to a Flow Theme, you can use this plugin to do so. So as long as you're on WordPress, that works. What Flow Launch does is basically create a copy of your current site which we call a clone. And you can see that in all of our processes here in all of our steps. Once your clone is created, you're able to log in into the clones dashboard and edit and update it till you're happy with the new site and you're ready to launch. During this whole process, you're able to log out and log in into your current site and make any edits you need for your current live site. So when you're working on your clone site, basically your users see just the live site uh, while you're doing all the magic in the back end. And once you're ready updating and preparing the new site, you will go through the launch process of your clone site with no downtime whatsoever for your users. And then if you are for any reason not happy with the way it came out, you can always revert back to your old site again by using the Flow Launch plugin. So this is kind of a general overview, but now let's start with the um, actual steps and go through each one of them uh, to see how that all looks. To get started, let's click on Start Cloning Process. Our first step is Compatibility Check. What it does, basically having the plugin run through all of the requirements that we need to make sure that your site and your hosting, to be more precise, is compatible to create a copy. So this will run through certain configurations. And once it's ready, you'll receive this window with uh, Compatibility Test is successfully finished and you're ready to proceed to backup step. Here you also have a download report um, and you're able to download the report of your uh, compatibility check. This is important also in case there is an error with one of your um, items here and you will receive an image similar to this one with a problem described and a solution um, and whom to uh, address it to. Some of these issues might include a solution to contact our uh, support team, so make sure to read this through um, and follow the instructions to make sure that you pass the compatibility check and are able to proceed to the next step. Download your report and then proceed to backup step. Here in the backup step, we are creating basically a backup of your current site's database. Um, and that's something that will be stored in your, um, on your hosting. Um, but you also are able to um, actually save a copy of physical data on your computer. And that will, by the end of this step, as you can see through the progress, we're able to download uh, the backup. So now we're ready to proceed to the third step. The third step actually creates the copy or the clone of the site. So once we click on create clone mode, what it will do by the end of the progress bar, it will log me out, um, out of my dashboard um, as I am at the moment. So let's remember, this is my current live site dashboard, okay? Okay, I'm logged out. I'll go ahead and log in again. And now what I will notice is that my theme color of WordPress is a different color. And this we're doing on purpose. So whenever you are logged in in your clone mode, as you can see, it's enabled, uh, you are able to see and clearly understand where, which site you're viewing at the moment. So to be able to go back to your current site dashboard, uh, you will need to log out out of the clone mode. It will again log me out. It will force me to log out and to log in again. 
now I am in my current site. So whatever changes I make um, in terms of content on my current site, it will stay on my current site now. Um, it will not be copied automatically to the clone site. So if you're adding a post, a blog post on your current site, make sure um, that you add one to your clone site from the moment the clone is created. So just to be clear that the copy of the site um, is of that current state of the site when we did the copy. Now you're ready basically to make changes to your clone site. So I'm going to go ahead and enable my clone uh, mode, which I can do here as well. Okay. Now that you're in your clone site dashboard, um, you can start editing your pages, your design. Um, here, if you have not activated the theme um, that you want to update to, you should go ahead and do that and click on activate. Uh, so for example, if I'm currently on Como theme, that's my current site, and I want to update to Narciss, um, I'll go ahead and activate Narciss in my clone sites uh, dashboard and start updating and um, editing it, making sure it looks as I want it to. One more thing that is important to know also during this stage when you're logged in in your clone site dashboard and viewing um, its dashboard is that if you preview your site, you will see the clone site. So if you want to see your live site, which your users are currently seeing even when you're here in the dashboard, you can just open your, um, your current site's link um, in an incognito window of the same browser or in a different browser. So if you're logged in in the clones dashboard and you go ahead and preview your site's link and you see the clone link, don't be scared. Your users are definitely not seeing that. It's just you as an admin who is able to view this. Okay, let's go back to our plugin, Flow Launch. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and disable clone mode and um, log in back to my current site dashboard. So over here, for example, you've started editing your clone uh, site um, and you're quite far into the process, but for some reason you're not happy how it's turning out. Uh, you can always delete clone mode um, and what it will do, it will delete the copy of the site that we have just created and you'll be at step one again. So we're going to go back and go through all of these steps again. Okay, I'm back in my new clone site. Um, once you're ready with all the changes that you need to make on your clone site and you're ready to launch, you can proceed to uh, step five. We can either go back or we can just launch the site. So make sure you check everything before you do that and we'll just click on launch site. Again, we have go through three steps. It's checking that the compatibility um, is there and that your hosting is ready to launch the site. We're also creating a backup. This time, this backup actually includes both your current site and your clone site. So this one will be important to um, whenever we create that to, um, to save just in case on our physical computer as well, um, as well as the copy that exists on your hosting, which is created uh, through this uh, progress bar. Once we're done with the backup creation, just go ahead and download that for yourself and proceed to launch step. At this step, we have one important recommendation and that's to clear your cache. So you can go ahead and click that to clear your cache and make sure that whenever your new site is launched, you actually see the uncached version of the new site rather than the cached version of your old site. And then you're ready to click on finish launch process. I'm just wait for this to load. It will log me out again. And now when I log in, I'm actually in the dashboard of my clone site which is now live site and you can see the theme of the WordPress is changed to what is currently live. Um, and now in the Flow Launch plugin, you have new options. You have an option to start cloning process again, or you can revert back. So revert back will uh, do the following. It will revert back to your old site um, that we have uh, basically uh, backed up already. Uh, so we're reverting back to that uh, to that version of the site before we launch the clone site. And we're again back to the step of making changes in our clone mode. Um, and the clone mode is currently disabled. So this is overall how the plugin works um, for all of the steps and different options that you have that allow you to 
easily navigate through an old site or current site and a new site that you're currently working so that you're safely doing these uh, changes and updates uh, without any downtime for your users and your business. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to bookmark this video or just know that you can always find it here in the Flow Launch plugin tab. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to connect with us um, via our email and um, support pages. Thank you and wish you a great day. Bye.